Welcome back to Golden Dragon Games, I am your host Rocky2815. We have got some emergency Nintendo news and I forgot to just say, please call me Rocky. But anyway, like I was saying, we've got some emergency Nintendo news. You might be saying, what is the emergency Nintendo news? Finger click and image appears of Link in his Hyrule Warrior gloriness from the trailer. You might be saying, new DLC? Yes, there's new DLC, one new pack of DLC, but also one other thing. If we click over to the next image, that's right, Hyrule Warriors is officially coming exclusively to the new 3DS XL and the new 3DS system. It's part of the new, well, not new, but part of the handheld consoles that Nintendo have released over the years. You know the new 3DS and 3DS XL, of course, with the C-Stick, the enhanced graphics, the stable, super stable 3D and what have you. But anyway, yes, it is coming to the 3DS as indicated by this picture here with Link in his Hyrule Warriors outfit and also gameplay. We shall click over to the next bit where it shows on the bottom screen your map and then three icons, Link, Zelda and Impa. With the stylus as it's showing you, you click on another character, it will switch you to that character. And for the next image is the first part of what I am officially dubbing the Legend of Zelda Hyrule Warriors Wind Waker DLC pack. And the first character in this is Tetra, the pirate of the seven seas that we all love from the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass. She was not in Spirit Tracks. There was a picture of her in Spirit Tracks, but she was not officially in Spirit Tracks. But anyway, so yes, she will be the first DLC character. Click over to the next image. It, um, well, it's showing her on the 3DS, basically. So I think that's really good. And the second part of the DLC is none other than the Kina Hyrule, also known as the Kina Red Lines, which is the boat you sail in on the Wind Waker. And as you can see by the image, he is in his boat form. And you might be wondering, why is he in his boat form in the game screen, but he's his normal king self on the actual side of the 3DS? That is because the king will be able to turn into the Red Lion. No, boat. King of Red Lines boat, sorry. Uh, next image. And here is one of his attacks where he jumps up and slams into the ground and washes a flood of water onto the enemies. These particular ones, I believe, are moblins from the Skyward Sword variant. And on to the next image, we have got... A whole image of all the cast characters from Link to Ganondorf to Midna to Sheik to Darmani to Wizro to Zant to Seer to Impa but also it includes Tetra and also the King of Red Lions and the next image is of course the official logo now of course this is in Japanese because um, the trailer that has just been released it was in Japanese basically so but onto this final image this was a scene that I was going to put in a video but just in case of copyright or can content ID issues because Nintendo is doing that to people at the moment uh, I'm going to avoid that images they seem to be fine with so this next image is from a scene where you see Tetra open a treasure chest and this must be one of the new items as part of the Wind Waker DLC. Or possibly something else, I don't know. M maybe this item in-game is exclusive to the 3DS version. Um, new 3DS, by the way. Like the new, well, the remake of Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, but anyway, here it is. It is Tetra holding up in her hand a golden ocarina with either silver or white band and it's all sparkling I'm not sure if um no it's definitely not the fairy ocarina that you get in ocarina time who's 
given to you by Saria, um, because that one is brown and made of wood, it's not the Ocarina of Time, because that one is blue and it's made of the Time Shift Stones from Skyward Sword. But that is basically all the news I have got for you on this wonderful, wonderful Zelda news. And actually one of my E3 predictions from Nintendo were they were going to do some sort of remake or, well, basically a new exclusive game for the 3DS, new 3DS and new 3DS XL and... They have delivered with Hyrule Warriors 3D. So thank you everybody for watching this very informative news video. I hope you remember to leave a like, favourite, share, subscribe and comment down below. What are your thoughts on Hyrule Warriors coming to the exclusively to the new Nintendo 3DS and new Nintendo 3DS XL? Or is in Japan L and LL? Which I personally think is a better name than just sticking the word new in front of it. Well done whoever decided to put that name in for the rest of the world. Good job. But anyway, until next time, remember to stay golden, stay frosties and bysies. Also, I will be keeping you on news up to date, all things Zelda related and Nintendo. So again, bye